Hey guys, D here from Budgets 4x4 Life. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto to your Android head unit. Alright, so if you have an Android head unit, I'm going to show you the whole process and also some tips and tricks where you can actually see all the information as well to help you solve the problem. Let's get into it. Righto, so before you go into the settings and to play around, a handy thing to know as well, when you go to applications, there's a manual. So I'm not sure if every unit will have it, but this one did come with it. So very handy to know. So there's literally all the settings that you can go through. Um, so you can see there's Bluetooth, how to connect your Bluetooth, and also how to connect your mobile phone at number 17. So if you scroll, There you go, mobile phone connection. It literally tells you all the steps, how to connect to it, uh, which is awesome. So essentially guys, what you gotta do, connect to Bluetooth, all right? As you can see, it's, it's connected to my phone. Press on that one, and there you go. So it's just a T-Link you press on, guys. So if it's not there, just go into your apps, T-Link. And there you go as easy as that and then the other thing I want to show you guys as well if you want to automatically start it every single time you get into the car and you want it to pop up you can do that as well so what you want to do is go back into your settings go to general and then you scroll down application self start click on that one and set it on T-Link or any other app that you want to start up automatically. All right, so that's now set. So let's turn the car off and back on. All righty, let's try, see how it goes. Yep, it's doing the boot up. Recording, two channels started. All right, so it should now connect to Bluetooth first and then it should go, yep, there you go, automatically into that one. By the way, if you see that screen, make sure background connection is turned on as well and floating navigation is turned off. All right, let's just go back and then boom. So every time you now get into the car and start it up, it's automatically gonna connect to your Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. The other question you might have as well, if you don't wanna use Apple CarPlay necessarily and you wanna use, say, Google, um, for instance, uh, Google or you know Chrome, even Maps as well, or the Play Store, how does it work? So think of this Android head unit as a tablet, okay? so it won't have its own data built in. So essentially there's two ways. You can either put a SIM card into the unit. Um, a lot of units should come with a SIM card adapter that you can put the SIM card in with data already on it. The other way is to run hotspot, okay? So some people have Starlink on their cars. Some people can use um, their phone. So essentially you just connect to Wi-Fi. All right, so as you can see, it's now connected to our Starlink. You can also create a hotspot on your phone. And then once you've done that, then things like say YouTube will work. So let's just give it a second. There you go. All right, and then there you go. All right, so there's all the YouTube. Oh, look at this guy, he looks familiar. All righty. And then the other one is Google or Play Store. If you wanna download apps, you can do that as well. And then there's just normal apps as well. All right, so usually when you go in here and there's no Wi-Fi connected to it, it won't work, all right? So it will say offline, but now at the moment, if you just click Ospost, there you go, it will work. So currently here in Victoria, Go directions and boom, there you go. And that is all now working as well. All right, just like that. So yes, either through Apple CarPlay or through Hotspot is how it will work.
And there you go, guys. Hopefully that answers all your questions about how to connect to the Android head unit. And like I said, have a look, see if you have the application called Manual, um, just because it's so handy for all the other features as well, like connecting your steering wheel controls, that sort of stuff, how to adjust your music, all that sort of thing um, is in the Manual as well to help you guys out. Thanks for watching, guys. Any questions, drop it down below and I'll help as much as I can. Thanks, guys.